okay, we're back. We're back. Uh, there she is, look. She's she's on the tablet. Hi, guys. <laughs> it's a lovely day, isn't it? Apart from it, well, it is cold uh, and windy. But other than that, it's actually blue sky today for a change, eh? Yeah, it's lovely. Yeah, it makes a change. I'm sick of the rain and the wind. We are in uh, another location. Um, this is called, what's it called? Croxall Farm, isn't it? Yeah. Croxall Farm, this is called. And it's a really nice place, really nice place. Well, I've left the pump on, let me just turn that off. I think he's making a noise. So anyway, so we're back on. Uh, yes, I have finally, finally got round to putting on the CCTV and uh, I'm gonna show you what I've done. So um, I've got my ladders ready, look. They've been brilliant, they have. Absolutely brilliant. And if you want some of these extendable ladders, link is in the description at the bottom of the list of all the things that I've put on there. Um, so yeah, right, so what I'll do, I'll go outside first uh, and show you around, show you the external. Now, um, I haven't quite finished, but I'm, I'm more or less finished. So, so I thought it's time to do a video anyway. So, uh, so okay, let's go outside now and uh, show you around. Okay, so we're outside, I'll just set the ladders up and uh, I'll start from the back. So you can see, the sun's probably gonna get in the way here. And you can see that, and I'll try and get them on the outside. You can just make out, I'll show you from above anyway. But at the top, very top there, but a little bit back, set back because of the curve of the back of the van on the roof. There is the little rear view camera. I'll say I'll show you better when we get up on top because the sun's in the way at the minute. And then up here, You can see that. See that. And that shows all down the right hand side of the vehicle. I'll show you around the other side. Okay. There's the one for the front view. And just above that, you'll see another one which goes looking down the side of here. So uh, let's now get at the top of the ladders and uh, show you what I've done above. You'll be, I think you'll be quite impressed with this bit. <laughs> so, so can you see that? There's, uh, there's a little camera at the back. I, I might, might possibly move that a little bit further back or something. I'm not sure what I'm doing with that yet. I might keep it in I'll talk about that in a second. So, okay, uh, so this end, you can see that on so cables run in the side and underneath into the uh, over cab bed and then I didn't want the cables running through uh, to the wardrobe to the back on the inside because that would be a mess hanging all over the place so um, it comes out here comes along here past here and then down through there and down to the wardrobe below all a mass load of cables are <laughs> and uh, this is pretty cool because where the cable comes in you'll see the circle thing yeah now it ain't quite the same as this because uh, you can buy these things uh, where they come from through the roof come out neatly there. Uh, these are a bit different because <laughs> they are peanut butter lids <laughs> <laughs> nice solid plastic lids that I spray painted and um, use them. So, uh, cheap way around it, isn't it? So, anyway, so there you go, it's all uh, sealed down by the way. So, we've got uh, super flex down on either side. Uh, that's obviously these trunking things. And uh, I think it's a pretty neat job. See it a bit? It looks like it looks a little bit tatty from there, it's all the super flex, so it's going to be a bit tatty. Okay, so now we're back inside. So, like I said before, the cables at the front that go from underneath the um, overcab bed for that camera and the one at the side, you'll be able to see because of all our bedding is in the way now. <laughs> I ain't taking all that lot down just to show you a cable coming in the wall, but basically they come in two different directions 
into there and like I said I didn't want them coming across here and then I'd have to try and get into that wardrobe you see from this side and uh, I didn't really want to mess up the inside so I thought the best way is to come back up again out the top which I did down that trunking that I showed you and it goes all the way into this cupboard here where there's a whole bunch of cables anyway at the back of the cupboard for the solar panel and uh, there was the old TV antenna but now of course it's the the 4G antenna um, which I shall be reporting on shortly by the way another update on that so yeah that's all goes into there you can't see there's a load of there's a load of clothes in there it's, it's, it's all of course uh, Jan's clothes you know <laughs> Uh, rammed and if I, if I had to take all them out again it would drive me nuts but behind there uh, I have actually put a switch in as well so because I found that when you've wired up all this stuff the camera's on all the time as in you don't have to look at them all the time the monitor ain't on all the time but the cameras are on all the time and there's no point because they're not recording because we haven't got a recording one and uh, it's just going to take energy for no reason. I just didn't see the point. So I actually put my own switch in so I can switch off the uh, cameras when we're not using them. So that's a good thing. So I'll just reach through there. I can feel my way around to the switch where I've put it on the wall and uh, switch them off. So all right, let's show you the actual monitor now. And uh, this is what we can currently see. Let's uh, just turn this camera around so I can... Uh, where are we? That side. Okay, here we go. So... Here we go, I've put it above the TV. Uh, yes, the TV had moved again, it was over here at one point. We'll put it back over here, it makes more sense. And uh, that is actually, by the way, our new TV aerial, which works brilliantly. So yeah, so anyway, there we go. This is the, uh, the monitor. You can see that okay, it's a bit hard to see on camera, but, uh, but yeah, that's the current views outside. So we've got the front, the back, uh, that's down the left side, and that's down the right side. I don't know if you can see that very well. It's, it's hard to pick up on the camera, but um, but they are very, very clear actually. But you can't really see how clear they are on this camera for some reason. But uh, yeah, pretty damn clear, pretty good. Uh, you can actually go through and uh, if you press because the button on the front there, so you can actually see if I block the view a little bit. It's a bit, it comes out too bright on this camera, but um, you can actually see them full on, full on views. So that's a rear view look. I mean, they're not actual like proper HD quality, best quality ever, but it's enough for us to be able to see. There's the steps. <laughs> uh, it's enough for us to see if somebody is hovering around at night time. Good for security. Like I say, you can't quite tell how good the quality is on this camera. It's, it's not coming through very well. So when you go to the different modes, <coughs> you can have different like split screen modes. Look, there's a variety of them. So there you go. I'll go back to that one. That's about the best one, really. Ooh. Channel one, channel two. They go off. Look, there you go. And uh, yeah, and I say at night time, he goes to like a black and white, and he goes to infrared, and. Uh, we tested that out, didn't we? We did. And uh, it turned out really well, didn't it? Yeah. 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 So I, I uh, oh, it's on the camera again. I can't see unless I turn that around. Yeah, so I took the dog a walk around, didn't I? <laughs> around the van. And I had to run round. I <laughs> had <laughs> run round. <laughs> yeah, I don't think you ran. <laughs> You'd fall over. I see you on camera falling over. So anyway, uh, so yeah, all the other cables, for instance, uh, I mean, one comes in over that side behind this cupboard here, um, this locker. Sorry, call them lockers, don't they? And that goes, it goes all the way through. And there's gaps between all these lockers anyway, actually, until you get to here. And that's why I had to drill through um, there and through there. You can't really see. It's in. It's back there. It's quite way back there because it's towards the back. And it goes into there and oh, all the 12 volt wiring took a bit of figuring out but i thought i did it in the end didn't you i did, and there's an extra fuse as well so it's all fused so in case anything goes wrong and um oh we've got a little remote haven't we where's that remote it's... Okay. oh she's she's moved it she's been tidying up again i've lost it 
She's lost it. <laughs> Panic on her face. <laughs> <laughs> See, always tidying up. See? Well, your rubbish is here. It's not rubbish. You got it? Yeah. Oh dear. So we should have had that in the first place, shouldn't we? <laughs> so amateurish, shouldn't we? <laughs> so you actually get a little remote for this. Look at this. <laughs> little diddy remote look. So, uh, yeah, for instance, I can, uh, so if I press, uh, let's have a look. So you press uh, channel one. There you go. There you go. So you can actually change your camera angles and that's the dog licking, by the way. <laughs> and then go through all those different modes. You can do all this on here. The only thing I'd say that's a bit funny with this remote is you really have to sort of be up and in front of it a bit, really. I, I, I don't know. I've tried it from I've tried it from sitting down here up to here, and um, it doesn't seem to pick up the beam. So that's not brilliant. But at the end of the day, you know. It wasn't that expensive. Uh, in fact, how much was it? About hundred. What was it? I can't, I can't remember now. Is it hundred thirteen or hundred thirty something? I can't remember. I can't. That. I can't remember now. It was just over hundred quid, something like that altogether. Um, didn't get any instructions, by the way. Virtually no instructions, anyway. Just basically telling you what you get. That's about it. What are you doing? So uh, you weren't too happy, was you? Because I was busy doing that for ages, He's weren't made I? A mess, didn't I made a mess, didn't I? Didn't like messes, do you? <laughs> but it's all done now, all sorted. Uh, yeah, um, don't think there's anything else to say about that, really. Uh, good job, weren't it? It was. Good job done. Yeah, it makes you feel better, especially when we're wild camping. That's what it's all for, you see. Because, yeah. I mean, we didn't want to record in one, because I don't see the point. No, we just want to be able to see at night time if we're in the middle of nowhere if you wear anything outside the van it's easy to have a look on there that's it just have a glance on there and if anybody's yeah. hovering around you can just put the key in the ignition and drive off and they'll be thinking how did they know we was here yeah so yeah it's a good job i did a good job yeah of course <laughs> so i told him about the peanut butter jar lids <laughs> that was my idea so if they don't work he'll blame me uh well actually i had the idea of using the lid but then Jan come up with the idea of the peanut butter jar lids because they were both the same and look they were quite solid weren't they yeah, and yeah, uh, they are. quite solid and uh, spray painted them so it merges <laughs> in it looks really neat I thought I don't think it does anyway because if I bought the actual things just to cover up and so you go they were about 13 quid each I am paying 26 quid out when I could put a couple of lids on there and... yeah <laughs> It's there, isn't it? We'll see how they well, do. <laughs> I mean, if they crack up and break, I'll just put another couple of lids on there. <laughs> so save your peanut butter jar lids. Yeah, not for us. We don't want any more. Oh. But, I'll... <laughs> but I thought that was quite ingenious. Yeah, yeah it was quite it ingenious, was that. So, uh, yeah. But I think it looks quite neat. Uh, yeah. If you think I've made a balls upon it, put a comment below. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. <laughs> If you don't like what you <laughs> what you see, give me a thumbs down. But um, but yeah, so there you go, uh, and that is it. I don't think there's anything else to say about it really, is there? Apart from like I say, the yeah yeah, the only one thing, a little bit of a niggle, little bit, is uh, at night time when the infrared comes on, it picks the van up, doesn't it, on the sides? You know, like for instance, I don't know if you can see again, but that say that one there. That's the right hand side of the van that will glow like anything which a little bit of a glow across here but it's still you can see everything perfectly fine still but that i'd say that's the worst one the the one at the top at the back the rear one because that that seems to glow off the top of the roof see so like you yeah we'll see bit. how we get on with that one mm. we might need to plus if it's raining or it's been raining it bounces off the roof and hits the lens so makes it a bit more hard to see so i might move the camera more so it's over the edge yeah we'll see how we get on with it yeah and we'll see because i could always move it it's not a problem i can fill in the holes <laughs> <laughs> you know one thing she didn't like was the drilling no 
Mind you, that wasn't very nice. I don't like drilling holes through your van. It's uh, It makes you a bit nervous, but I thought, well, I'll stuff it. Everybody else does it. And to be honest, it was no effort. Yeah. And how thin the outer layer is is unreal, you know. You soon get through that, and you're straight away into uh, what chipboardy stuff. Oh, and uh, the insulation, which is, seems to be polystyrene. Yeah. <laughs> Cause they say that's really good though, don't they? Yeah, they reckon it's good. Yeah, somebody actually said to me on YouTube that he thinks that uh, polystyrene is the best way to go anyway. Um, but yeah, because at the front there, when I was doing at the front, I had all these bits fly out and across me, and I thought, what? It's like purr, purr, and all these bits of polystyrene everywhere. I thought, oh, great. <laughs> but yeah, but uh, but there, yeah, it was easy enough. Easy enough. Uh, don't be frightened. Just plan ahead. Yeah, I think because you did all the wiring, you got them all set up ready. Yeah, um, worked it all out, didn't well, I? Yeah. Watched yeah. no end of videos, uh, even though the wiring side was tricky because there was no actually a video on YouTube showing you exactly what to do with this exact camera, mm. with this exact uh, system. You soon worked it out though, didn't but you? But from other similar systems, you sort of work it out what you got to do with this one and it's good that there's yeah. a, we've got a fuse and a switch so if the fuse mm. does go it doesn't affect anything else in the van does it yeah that's right yeah. so uh oh and by the way i have bought uh you can see it very well but uh behind there you can see there's actually a double socket i bought <laughs> you can hard to see there's a double socket there and uh because I've only got one 12 volt socket there. I was going to fit another 12 volt socket, weren't I? Mm. But then I thought, well, why might I just go and get an adapter thing that splits it into two? And so now we can have the 12 volt TV on while that's on above. And uh, so if you're lying across here, watch it like, you know, like Janet does, slouched across here at night. I don't watch the telly. <laughs> oh, no, she watches a Chromebook. <laughs> Anyway, uh, yeah, so you can actually, if you was watching the TV, you can have that at the same time and keep glancing up at night time, couldn't you? Yeah. And uh, yeah. to make yourself feel a bit better that nobody's hovering around while you're watching the telly. So uh, so I thought that was the best place to put it, really, yeah. isn't it? Up there. Yeah, we can see it. And if we're in bed at night time, we can see it, can't we, if we need to? Yeah, and I'll tell you something else. The energy output or input or whatever you want to call it, how much energy it uses is next to nothing. Next to nothing. Because I tried, I, I brought up the app on my phone to look at the energy, and I, oh, what was it? Way less than an amp. I think it was 0 0.1 or something. Something yeah. silly, anyway. I can't remember what it was now. It was really, really low. So basically, we could have that on all night, all day. Wouldn't. In fact, yesterday, you went into Morrison's, didn't you? Yeah. In the car park, I sat there and I thought, I'm going to have a look at the output of the, the input, sorry, of the solar panels, see what's bringing it in, what's bringing in at the minute. Now, as it were, it was a really dull day. So it was hardly bringing in anything because it was such a dull day, miserable day. But on my app, it told me I was actually making 0 0.6 amps. And yet I had that on because I was watching the cameras to see how they were. Um, and when I turned it all off, there was hardly any difference. So it hardly takes any energy. So basically during the day, I could have that on all day and it wouldn't take anything off, us, mm, off the batteries no, at all. Good. Um, plus I've got something else plugged in around the corner which I'll show you that in another video which uh, has been really good for the internet isn't it yeah. we'll, uh, we'll go on that I'll show you that in another video though coming up so uh, that's been brilliant so um, but yeah okay so we're going to sign off that's it it's all done CCTV um, if I find the link for, for <laughs> where to buy it I'll stick it in the description below because I can't <laughs> remember where did I get it from did you get it from Amazon I can't remember. No, oh yeah, I think I did. I think I did get it from Amazon. We've got yeah. how many bits and bobs, haven't we? <laughs> so yeah, I'll tell you what, yeah, I'll put the link below then if I find it. I should find it. And check the vi uh, video description below for the link. And uh, you can take you straight to the Amazon listing. Um, uh, it's all right, yeah. I, I, I'd say I recommend it at the minute. Yeah. At the minute, you know. I, I'll say we've not long had it hooked up and working. So if it conks out after a week, don't blame me. Because <laughs> we ain't had it that long, are we? No, It'd have no. been a few days. We'll so. get on with it. But we'll see how we get on with it. But uh, we'll come back to it later on and tell you, give you an update and uh, tell you if we spotted anything on the road <laughs> while we've been on the road. <laughs> and no using them for blokes weaning bushes. <laughs> as he, as he. Because when we were parked up that time and she was at the kitchen window cooking for ages, it seemed. Just happened to be where all these men come out of the lorries and went in these bushes to have a wee. 
And you were there for ages, weren't you, cooking? It was a long meal, that one was. So she'll be watching that next. <laughs> right, signing off. And uh, we'll see you all again soon. Bye, guys. Bye.